Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. This is the seventh in a series of videos on the topic Encounter with the Jupiterians, channeled by Alice B. Claggett. The topic of this, the seventh in the series, is Lion People of Lyra and the Lyran Collective of Star Beings. Some speak of a feline people or a lion people on Lyra. I've drawn a picture here reminiscent of some pictures I found on the internet um, of a lion being. This is pretty close to, to one I saw online. A male lion being. So people speak of these feline people, these lion people of Lyra or of a feline star race on Lyra and is one aspect of the Hathors, the two aspects being that of the cow and, and that of Sekhmet, the lion that protects her charges. My thought is that these two, the women of Lyra and the lion people of Lyra, may be two members of the Lyran collective of star beings. As well, I see that the 2009 movie Avatar may have been about a lion race of star beings. Uh, I have a, an additional comment about that. It seems to me that on the planet Venus, there's a group called Ra, and that that might have included Sekhmet beings Hathor beings and avian, uh, blue avian star beings. So that group might have included th three very diverse races amongst others, all of them sentient and some of them present on earth in planes other than the physical. Um, we have here a picture of two of those races that may have visited ancient Egypt, the Hathors with the um, ears of cows who were nurturing beings and telepathic. These ears might well mean that they're telepathic as well. And Sekhmet, the, the lion being, which I've tried to embody in spirit in this picture right here of, of a social activist, a civil rights leader, uh, masked as the lion, as the feline. So there are various myths about lion beings and very little is known about them. But one of the myths states that Lyra has lion beings in it. And another states that our own planet Venus has lion beings in it, known as Sekhmet in ancient Egypt. I myself feel that I have a strain of energy or a an ascension team being that is Sekhmet like or lion being like that can protect as 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 well as other energies that that nurture so I feel very very close to this idea uh, here in the third and fourth dimensions we have to be able to protect ourselves if we want to nurture humankind we light workers need to do that. I feel that very definitely. So somehow or other we have to reach out to the energies of the lion beings of Lyra or the lion beings of Venus, perhaps walking by our side here on Earth, and gain from them what courage we need to continue on in these difficult dual dimensions. That's all for now, some of which is not stated elsewhere. And so God bless you all, keep you safe, and be with you through all your days.